We can get into random battles here. Um, right now, um, they're pretty strong for us. Um, at the levels we're at, and I, I haven't sharpened my weapons up to level six. Um, but uh, I should be able to take them out uh, with the combination of uh, my weapons and magic. So, plus, um. I'll probably be able to show off a cheapo's, um, at least level one charge. No, maybe not. Um, uh, some of your enemies, or some of my enemies, have already shown the knob, so. Okay, there's just one on this time, so won't have to bother wasting magic, so at least they can uh, show off how difficult it's going to be uh, when you get into a group against, like, say, three of them, so because th they usually show up in uh, groups of three, so yeah, kill a rodent. They have a chance of uh, actually doing a die bomb type attack, which, uh, which will kill basically one of your characters, so... I don't know if I can uh, kill them uh, when they're at full HP, um, I think they have to take some damage first, so... Don't have to be critical or anything. <laughs> Oh, okay. So they can be at full. Okay. Not exactly worth a whole bunch of experience either, so... Two killer rodents. A killer rodent. Yeah, this is going to be our base of operations for a while here, so... Yeah, eventually here we're gonna start with the um, quest for the 108 stars, so... New faces, I see. 
Please let me know when you want to rest. <laughs> <sighs> My, you have such a deep look in your eyes. I rather fancy that. My name is Louise. Nice to meet you. Tov will eventually be upgrading her ship, so... I suggest trying to talk to Desmond instead of Louise, so... Because if you talk to Louise and she comes with you, then uh, she's not going to be here. Um, and if you use Desmond to come with us, uh, when he becomes a possible member of our group, then uh, we'll have to just go talk to Louise, so... But... Desmond uh, pretty much sucks as support, so... Well... You were on an island, right? And this is an island, so... Well, living here might be fun too, but... I know if we talk to Desmond, he's just going to tell us to go get some rest, so... And over here, this is our room, so... Okay, it's not sure, but... Eventually, uh, there'll be an end table where we can put some of our stuff on, so... I think uh, she kind of has a weird voice. To me, it, it really doesn't fit her. Um, but, you know, uh, that's just my opinion, so. Can't go up yet. And 
Right here is the uh, 108 stars. The list, so. And this is the war room. Um, by default, um, if you really have nowhere to go, um, go here because uh, this might lead to a cutscene telling you where you have to go next or whatever, so. So, if you have no idea where to go, um, I would go there first. Doesn't help you out all the time, but... Yeah, we're just itching to get going, aren't we? Yeah, eventually when we get our ship, um, and we get a couple of things, uh, extra, we can eventually upgrade them, so. But, usually, um, by default, um, they're gonna be okay the way they are. Um, the last battle, last sea battle of the game, um, I probably cheated around, but... But as they are, um, they're going to be fine, so. Yeah, the ship outside is uh, going to be the one that we're going to be able to use first. But right now I have uh, some stuff I got to do here first before I uh, actually start heading out. Okay. And yeah, this is basically all that we can take with us, so. Hmm. We can actually have a support character. Just Louise right now, but uh, she's got healing, which uh, is going to be really useful. Because this will uh, bring us back with uh, a few hit points uh, at the end of each battle, so. And we kind of think that uh, when we get our elevators, it would be like right here, but uh, the elevator is not going to be right here, so. Eventually, when we get our elevator, it's going to be right here, so. But, that won't be for a long time. We actually get our elevator kind of late the game, so. At least late for what I'm thinking. Now, in all honesty, I have just been assigned here, and I'm not entirely familiar with the situation at hand. Nevertheless, please begin. <clears throat> if I may, it is the light that was seen earlier that concerns us. It has not been seen around Rosarill since then. Hmm. In other words, this proves that this light has nothing to do with the land of Rosarill, correct? Okay, right there, that guy who's the voice for Graham Cray, you might recognize the voice, um, he is the guy that was in, a uh, Vampire Hunter D. Bloodlust, um, he did the voice of, uh, Meyer Link, 
At least uh, in the English version. But Sir Cray, I remember you saying... Don't be hasty, Governor. I am saying that this light is something that shifts. Please humor me for now. I beg your pardon, Sir Cray, but your story... I cannot help but think it sounds like a work of fiction. This is coming from one who is known as the Child of the Sea God. Sorry for being so outlandish. If you would please stop calling me that. Troy, just let it go. There is no need to be so sensitive. I know the achievements of each of your fleets, as does Sir Cray. Yes. Without you, we would be unable to fulfill the Governor's plans for the Southern Expansion. In any case, I was told one of my men had a report for us. Ramada? Uh, pardon me, but I have brought with me a man who claims the possibility that the object in question has moved on from Razaril. Ah, bring him in. As you wish. You may enter. No. Oh, jerk. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to meet you, uh, down the, uh, cliff, um, right in front of, uh, um, uh, I guess we could say the palace, um, I don't know if, uh, Lino would, uh, actually consider a palace or not, but, um, yeah, that's uh, that's where I will uh, meet you. So I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. And uh, we don't get access to uh, the rush command uh, during battle. Um, I didn't uh, use it on the way down here. Um, when I get the chance to, um, I'll probably show it off. But um, that's probably not going to be until uh, next episode. So. Yeah, eventually those two are going to get with this, but, uh, they're going to be some of the last people that we get in the game, so. A lot of the people that we met, um, we don't get until uh, the very end, so. Just kind of weird, but. This kid uh, should have a familiar name. Yep, Rock G. And for being somewhere that uh, they can kind of show us around, um, they're monsters here, so. <sighs> Not really a tourist trap, I think, but. Yeah, every time that we want to leave here, um, Rock G is just gonna leave our party, at least uh, for the time being, so. And whenever we want to go back, um, just talk to him again, so, um, <sighs> but, uh, what I think I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to sign out for now, this is Visit 15, you've been watching this place we could afford, and, uh, when I come back, um, <sighs> I'm going to go over, um, upgrade all my weapons to level 6 um, 
buy a couple of new pieces of armor, um, especially uh, for the hero there, because that, well, he's going to be my default character throughout the entire game, so. Um, I think uh, I might, um, yeah, I, I think I might buy a couple of uh, new items. Um, I'm going to be uh, going in here and uh, trying to uh, gain myself up to like maybe uh, 50,000 pot. Um, maybe even 75,000. Um, yeah, I'll uh, attach every, uh, well, just about every water or every rune piece, I should say, uh, to my guys. Um, well, it's just uh, like something I, I really don't need to. Um, Yeah, uh, I think uh, that's going to be about it for tonight, so take care.